Hello, people. I am um, wearing my special hat today because I just filmed for about seven minutes and realized that the camera's not on me. Okay, I'm looking at myself on there, so I gotta do this. I've been having some minor fish tank problems. My pleco's been sick, and to make a long story short, I found out that it's a phosphate problem. And to do that, I did two things. I did over two days a very aggressive water change, um, doing th one round, one five gallon bucket vacuuming, and then letting it sit for about a day. And then doing another um, two five gallon buckets vacuuming the whole time, essentially vacuuming all the gravel in the tank. Emptied out all of the um, contents, all of the plants, the, the Buddha statue, all that. And let that sit for a little bit. And my filter I have going, I have, um, it holds two filter cartridges, which I've shown I hand make myself, but I've changed that a little bit. The first stage is an ammonia pad. I don't have the package with me, um, but I've shown it before. That is a chemical filter, but also it is a very, very loose mesh. Um, so it's going to catch a lot of the big stuff. So it's mechanical too. Then I have this stuff, activated filter carbon. Um, I didn't take this out, put this in for a long time. Um, the reason is it, it can take out some good stuff too. But the water started to get a little bit of a tea color in it because of the, the, the driftwood that I have in there. And it started to get just that stinky like pond water smell. Um, so I put this in the first filter. And that within a couple days, I did that a while ago, that knocked on the smell. But... I changed um, just today the second stage. I put a new blue bonded filter pad in, which is much finer mesh. Um, that's not a chemical filter. That's going to be more of a biological where stuff grows. Um, and it's a little bit of mechanical too. Um, but inside that one, I put this stuff. This is a resin that is designed to trap uh, mostly phosphates but also get nitrites and nitrates. Um, and hours after the, the second water change, all of the fish were okay. None of them were showing signs of stress. Um, so that's when I went ahead and I did that filter swap, putting in the resin and a new blue bonded filter. And then it's been about 12 hours now, and the water's clear, and the Pleco is more active. He was um, attacking some of the plants, scraping the um, algae off. Now, I don't know if the phosphates were what was bothering him and making him sick, or if there's just so much diatomaceous algae growing on stuff that his normal food couldn't be eaten. But saying that, I put in, as you guys have seen, a number of foods that he eats. The filter, the, the normal flakes he'll eat. The algae flakes are made for him. And then the two kinds of sinking pellets that I have, he will eat too. Um, so he's perking up, but the lesson today here is don't ignore the full spectrum of chemicals in your water. Um, my ammonia, my nitrates and nitrates have been fine for quite a while. Um, it's a one, one little spike, but that's because the filter didn't, didn't work right. The... I never tested the phosphates. So 
when you start having little problems, like I was with my diatomaceous algae for a few months, um, get the chemicals that affect that tested right away. Because I probably could have avoided all of this by getting my phosphates tested a long time ago. And I feel a little bad about that. So now I've got to um, deal with it in a little bit harsher way. So that's not fun, but I learned my lesson. Um, but I've got about a year's worth of this stuff, if not more. Got a good amount of this stuff. Um, and I've got everything else. So no matter what happens, um, it's going to be better. I don't know if this is going to cure the diatomaceous algae problem, but it should at least knock it down a little bit. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, uh, my, my lesson here, test your water, over test it. If you have any sort of problem, test everything because uh, it can save you a lot of problems.